Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. So exactly what are we hearing here? Because it doesn't seem as though justice has been meted out for what happened to the returning national when all of her money was stolen from Scotiabank. It doesn't seem as though much has happened in terms of justice. Okay, Kevin DaCosta Cadogan, he was the teller. He enlisted a businessman by the name of Kirk St. Clair White to help him steal money from this particular person who worked in the U.S. and worked in the U.K. and sent her money back to Barbados for her retirement. This is her retirement money. They took all of her money totaling $312,960. That was the proceeds of the crime. Then when she realized, when the pensioner realized her money was missing, these two people hired Adrian Drakes as a hitman to kill her. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? They took her into slavery because she worked and they took her money. So she worked for free. So they took her into slavery. They sold her down the river, like I would say. Then when she showed up unsure to say, where is my money? They hired a hitman to kill her. And both of them are getting, all of them, three of them are involved. Two years behind bars, that's what's left. Two years, 287 days for white Two years, 277 days for Cadogan. Two years, 144 days for Drake's left at Hotel St. Philip. That's all that's left. So with all the money laundering, with all the money that they took, with everything, the destruction of that, that lady, did have not yet mentioned her name. Not once. Anyhow, all of that, they only have... Two more years to spend, and they only spent like 88 days on re remand, and one spent 77 days on remand. The shooter got a stiffer sentence, but still, the judge did not even want to give him that sentence because she's saying he was on drugs. He was on drugs. Oh, yeah, he was on drugs, so I really don't want to do this to you because you were on drugs. That's, that, that's the, the, you know, that guy, the, your, your um, ex-criminal that always talks about being on drugs and they try to wiggle the way out of paying the debt due to, to the society because they're saying they were on drugs as though the drugs came and knocked on their door. No, no, it's a decision they make. It's a decision you make when you take drugs and then everything about you is skewed. You, you, you're making bad decisions. You make bad decisions without even being on drugs, far less being on drugs. So this case has bothered me for several reasons, not once have you seen a photo of these people. Not once has your paper, your newspaper, put a photo of Kevin Cadogan or Kirk White or Adrian Drakes. You don't see the three of them. They're, they're criminals. They were found guilty. Never once. Well, I'm not finding any photos of these three guys. Okay? Didn't mention the name of the lady who repatriated her money. Her name is not given, so you don't even know how to reach out to her. You know, let's say there was a go a GoFundMe. Something could be set up because she's not getting her money back. So that has bothered me. The third thing that has bothered me is she's not going to get her money back. It's not retrievable. So are they selling the house? Are they selling... Kevin's mother's house or Kurt's mother's house or Adrian's mother's house? Are they selling anything to try to get that woman's money back into the account at Scotiabank? Do not bank at Scotiabank. I told you already that I too was robbed via Scotiabank. I told you about Mark Thompson. He went into Scotiabank and, and took money from me from Scotiabank. I, I, I didn't even have an account there, but he took a check and he, he, he and the bank managers or whatever were in cahoots and everything. And he was able to complete a transaction. And I always say, do not trust anyone. Do not trust Scotiabank. Do not trust no bank. 
None of them. Do not trust them. And if you have to put your money in the bank, check every week. Put, a, put You have these cell phones, right? Just mark on your calendar. Have it come up every two weeks, every month. Check your money. Check on your money. It is not safe in Barbados. It's not safe around Barbadians. It's natural for them to steal your money. It's natural for them to suck you dry. It's natural for them to sell you down the river. It's, it's part of the DNA. It's the blueprint of what they are. They will sell you down the river because they were sold down the river. Okay? So trust no one. Trust no one. This is Sherry Veronica.